Okay, let's change it back to blue. That's better. Um, so let's go over uh, gold real quick. Um, Trading View apparently did not like the last post that I did, so they took it down. So I'm going to go over this uh, chart one more time. So if you've been following the last couple of streams, um, we've been talking about gold going long this week, and I give a pretty good breakdown of why we were looking at gold going long. Um, we also marked out take profits and provided you some structure as well in order to look at. So let's go to the four hour. Um, from our entry that we had up to here was 466 points or pips, however you call it. Um, if we drop down to the one hour, we can see that take profit one, take profit two, and take profit three both got smashed through. Um, take profit one was the first one to kind of get taken out. We got them taken out twice. So on Wednesday, we got take profit one and take profit two. And it was just under 300 points that day. And then yesterday was a 400, uh, or today, yesterday different trading days was a 400 point opportunity on gold. And then I'm just going to show you how it looked at that. So this was our liquidity zones that we were marked off of here. Um, we had a conservative take profit one. We had a conservative uh, take profit two. And we had a take profit three. It was really right here. And then let's just go ahead and take profit one slash LQZ for liquidity zone. Here we had take profit two slash LQZ for liquidity zone. And let me just copy this command C. Okay. All three of my trading view tabs up top. Here we go, and take profit three. Um, I wasn't expecting for us to get this huge push up, but we had a one hour take profit. So this would have been take profit four right here. And then I have a four hour liquidity zone that I'm also still gonna be looking at for it to take up higher um, until gold gives me a sign that I want to reverse and I'll show you what that was gonna look like. But for those of you who were looking at us with yesterday, um, we had a break above here. So we had a high, um, a failed attempt to break this low, um, made this low, pushed up higher, um, made in the same swoop right here, it made this high and then it came lower. So make sure this is where one of those areas that if you're not paying attention to the bars on the chart, you're going to get confused and think like, you know, it wasn't in the same motion. But if this, this is really the higher right here that it made um, here. And then we came lower. And then again, we fell to break this low right here, not once, but twice in these areas. So after we got that fell break and then we came and we broke higher, we broke this high and we start forming this, um, we're immediately going to be looking for the take profit targets right here on the left side. Okay. So that's what we did. We marked these out, take profit one, two, and three. And then up top, we had our higher time frames, take profit one or take profit four, and then our four hour zone marked off of the four hour time frame. It's important to label your time frames with like the bars. So this zone up here, I found it on the one hour. So if I was going to go back and look at it, I wouldn't just want to have some random line coming through my chart. And I don't know what it means because now I'm just cluttering up my chart. I want to be able to know what time frame I need to go to in order to find that. So I marked it there. And let's go ahead and just play this through. Boom, take profit one's hit, and take profit two got hit. 
in that same token. So we have both take profits there and the market came down. Okay, so why was I continued to look for high, highs here? Well, in order for us to have any type of change in momentum in the market, then I would need to see it come down to here for us to get it. But I'm looking in this area and this is kind of the low that I'm going to watch it play against. See the support that we have? I'm looking for it to stay in this area. Nice support underneath or resistance underneath, support up top, support up top. We get the trickle down. And as soon as we start to get this trickle down, if we drop down into our 15 minute time frame, we're starting to get this push higher. Um, it made more of like a descending nature here. Or some people call it a wedge, depending on how you trade. Um, and then we break out of it, kind of get this push up. We would look for a buy there. And we would just ride this thing up until the market tells us it wants to reverse. So again, we see this area that's starting to form. This is where I'm going to look for it if it comes back below here and it closes back below here. Not just trickles through, I'm still going to hold it. But for us to get a close, then starts to form some type of pattern, we would look for it to go lower. Giving us an indication and a flag that the market doesn't want to go higher. It failed to break this high, but look what we just broke. So we're paying attention to the market now. Let's take off our drawings. Following it, letting it play out, letting it play out. Boom. And let's take this off. We're still not at take profit. And we'll flatten position there. So this would be a five contract. I don't trade a five contract. I trade a one, I trade a one contract. But this was just an example. So we would have taken our buy here and had our stop loss just below our zone right here. And we would have been waiting for it to go through here. But since it, since it gave us all this momentum, again, we're just going to wait for it to tell us if it wants to reverse. We keep trading it. And that's what we end up with right there. Solid move. Um, again, I marked this one up earlier live. Trading view apparently wasn't a big fan of it. Uh, I have it. If you go into my actual page, um, in my little section, you'll see my YouTube. Uh, I'm not even sure if I'm actually supposed to mention that inside of the video because I have to go over the house rules. But yeah, there's the markdown on gold. Let's go ahead and just take this off. And this is where we are in gold. So I'm going to do it again. We're going to go top down, take off all this nonsense that we don't need anymore. We're going to keep this just for the lows. Not very many lows to pay attention to. This grab that. So it's not really relevant. Nothing there for us. So. If we are going to come back down here, we're not just going to stop in these areas. We're going to make it all the way back down here. I could mark this, but it would just kind of be a waste of chart space. There would be no point in it. These are some highs that I'm going to be paying attention to. And tomorrow we have a bunch of news coming out. We are at the one hour liquidity zone that I have marked on the chart and we're starting to form some structure. I'd love to see gold either give us a push down or 
form give us a push down and then start to form some structure in this area because there's just all this open space um how would i be looking to play that open space i'll go with my best guess i draw a support or the and a support and a resistance on the chart so we have resistance here some support here resistance 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 and if it breaks through here is breaking through like impulsively we got an impulsive break here and then it became a uh, resistance and then it kept sharply going down so that's how to play that and also another thing that you can do in this situation is since we did have such a sharp push up off of this move we could just draw our fib on there we'll drop down to the lower time frames and since i can't spot a liquidity zone or an area that price would want to come back to on the higher time frames i'm just going to find it on the lower time frames um, and if price reverses below my this area right here, if we get movement back inside of this, you can look for some move down. But as of right now, I see a 382 liquidity zone on the lower time frame. And I'm, I wouldn't even consider this. I would just keep this one right here. Let's label this say. Price did break above this. And now it's kind of slowly trickling down right now. doesn't really mean anything uh, not in this type of market we'll make this extended to here if we get down to five we got a liquidity zone back up top and we got a liquidity zone here on our smaller time frame so we could look for a price to come up in here. Then giving us a little hover a flag right there for the continued sell. Then we could possibly look for some movement up. to the higher side, giving us this type of shape. That'd be favored for sure. I'd be happy if it gave us something like that, but not too much going on. We got a ton of movement yesterday, so we might not have too much going on in the markets right now, as we had a, a majority of the news coming out tomorrow. I will be looking for it to get into this area since it's already kind of trickling down that'd be lovely but yep that's it um that's how we call that huge uh breakout on gold and we'll be looking for some potential trades tomorrow so uh if you've been enjoying these streams please be sure to follow on trading view and we'll have a discord server coming up shortly and follow for more uh market predictions and education such as this peace